Hello everyone, this is Manish from Domsky and the session is on using SQL to query data on Power BI. As in our previous post, we connected Management Studio with Dynamic 365 CDS database and we used uh, some utility to enable the TDS endpoint. The good news is we don't have to necessarily use this utility to enable the uh, TDS endpoint. There is a setting under the feature that is to enable the DTS endpoint. So let us go to the Power BI desktop client and clicking on get data SQL server. It will ask us the server name that would be our organization URL itself. Dremsky 0.crm8.dynamics.com and the port would be 558. We can also add the database name here that would be our organization name itself and that's all although this is optional we can click on direct query and ok it will ask us for the authentication I faced an issue here why why because I haven't looked into the left side of the column that says Windows database and Microsoft account and I was trying to log in with the Windows authentication. Uh, we have to go to the Microsoft account and provide the authentication here like signing in. So after login uh, we would be getting an option to connect clicking on connect. We are successfully connected and we would be seeing all the entities and the database here. Next we would be selecting our entity just for the testing purposes. Let us test one connection. What are the benefits we are getting while using this SQL server connection? And one thing I notice if I select this and instead of transform data, let us load, load it first. So we are successfully connected with the entities. If I go to the model, you can see the relationship has been auto picked. So whatever work I have done on BI normally, what I know I have to create the connection between the entity and then see the model and map it through. But you can see it has picked the connection successfully. Another thing I notice if I go to the T entity and select for primary contact and now here you will see it has both the field one is contact I primary contact ID of the lookup and the name and if I select and expand it you will see the name of the lookup and the entity of the lookup. Next we will be adding some options set and check what, what, are the, uh, what type of data we are getting. So this is our business type. It has a business type code with it, then the name. So in the option set, we are also getting the label uh, with values. So if I select business type or instead of business type, let me select the customer type itself. And here you will find the name, the label of the option set and its value. Whatever I have worked before in Power BI, we have to do a little bit of work to bring out all these data like connection, lookup ID and the name, option set value and for the name we have to do little bit of work but uh, now you can see everything is available as per the as per the connection. So that's quite good. Uh, so let us end this video here and in the next video let, uh, let us embed this particular table onto Dynamics 365 dashboard. Thank you.